Hi, welcome to my video. I'm just going to show you the old A's site, what used to be. This used to be their factory, which is now it's obviously demolished in 2011. As you can see below, you can see the railway lines. Now this is where the trains came into Hayes, into the word house of cells, in the factories. And that's where they stopped, right at the end of it. They, they came in here to be loaded up and then they were driven out by shunters and trains, taken out. And also, if you look to look here, you can actually see railway lines where the, where the trains ran past at the side of the factory, and they assumed it was stored. And actually, in the far corner over there was the bike shed. You can't see it for the trees, but that's where they stored the bike when they came to work here. Quite a lot of people worked here. And if you do have any information on Hayes or photographs or videos of the working when you work to Hayes or work for them, please let me know. It'll be very interesting. What we're going to do, we're going to go along the line and show you as the line is today, as see, where it's been neglected quite a lot and the land Hayes. So if you can have a look round, we'll show you the rest of the land. On the far corner over there, where you can see the vehicles and cars maybe passing, is the main is Lancott's Lane, where the Tr trucks entered and lorries. As you can see here, which all flooded now, is the main line out towards St Helens, which is obviously now underwater and neglected. So we'll go further along the line and we'll show you more of the line near Pease Cross where Morrison's is. Okay, fence inside, as you can see in the, you see in the video, where the train comes, this used to be a scrap yard. And you can see guys collecting scrap. The main line has carried on, most of it's obviously gone now, as you can as well see, and all the rails are up at this part of the line. But we have just heard that there are possibilities the line may be re put back down and reused, uh, but the land is planned for, for development in the near future, and they're hoping that without any red tape, we can get the line up and running, providing there's no government stoppages on it. Hayes Chemical, the line running to Hayes Chemical Factory, where we've just, where we've just seen. And if you look, the line continues over on the Morrison's Bridge, where the Morrison's supermarket is, going back many years where the old Sutton Oak shed was. And you can see the line goes under the bridge, and also this line here, which is now derelict, used to run all the way along through the trees there, and that carried on all the way to Sutton, Sutton Junction actually, and that's where it line joins Sutton Junction line. Uh, what we'll do, we'll move further on and we'll show you some more of the line. Where the bridge goes to Morrison, this is Baxter's Lane. Above the bridge is Baxter's Lane, and actually if you look to your right, you can actually see Morrison's, Morrison's supermarket. Right? And if you turn around and look, you'll see the old bridge with people the old deers there is now crossing. The old walk bridge, which probably many of you have actually walked on in the past, or still do today. Right. And as you can see further up, we're going up the line, which will get to Manor Street, where the next bridge is, and the line continues towards the town. So we move further on. This is further show you that more line. of the line. But the so line here isn't too bad, as it's not been vandalised as most of the other line. To your left, you can actually see the Morrison Superstore, which had, uh, which many of you probably shop at, but used to be many years ago in the 1950s, was Sutton Oak Sheds, as you can probably see in a picture on one of my YouTube videos. Uh, it used to be Sutton Oak Sheds, and they used to repair all the whack trains, and, every, and there's several lines which went into Sutton Oaks. It was then closed down in the 50s and, to, and I believe was taken over by Whelan's supermarket before uh, Morrison's moved in oh, and revamped the store. The We've got um, Sutton Road on your right hand side and looking straight ahead you can actually see Sutton Road Bridge which leads over to Peasley View and as you can see the railway line here the undergrowth is starting to take over it, so eventually this line will be very difficult to walk through. Now, as you can see, a lot of undergrowth starting to take over most of the line of this part. But as 
easy to walk over bridge where many you've probably walked over. And Sutton Road Bridge. And right. further on you've got Chapman no, Street. Right. Sutton Road over each in you along. You see a second line where the lines actually spawn into two. This is was, was so that other trains in the opposite direction would be able to pass as going to Hayes Chemicals.